What is up, everybody? It's your boy Zero. And we're playing the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Now, guess what just came out, boys? You already know what came out. You already know. It's Garnet. And you know what I've been waiting for. Garnet. You want to know why I've been waiting for Garnet? Because Cloud. You know why Cloud? Because I've been dying for Star 5 CP forever. No, they're going to give us Auron for Garnet. Oh, yeah, because that makes sense. When JP got it, Garnet, then Auron. But anyways, we finally got Garnet. Gonna do at least one pool. Hopefully I don't have to do both of my pools. If I do, if it comes to that, then I will. Really hope I get class 35. That is my main goal for this banner. Okay, I guess it uh, didn't tell us stuff. Guess we're going right onto the pools first thing, guys. Let's go. First pool. Ooh, no download. That really hurts. That hurts. Oh, silver five. Gold, come on. Oh, gold nine. Fifteen. Uh huh? I knew it was gonna be sucky. Well, one last pull, guys. Can we get clouds? Oh, we got a oh a gold orb too. Come on, give us five gold, and <laughs> that it'd be really crazy if we got so much luck that it gave us eleven gold. Yeah, but anyways, it's not gonna happen. One, two, three. Come on, silver. Four, come on, silver. Five, come on, silver. Six, come on, silver. Seven, come on, silver. Eight, come on, silver. Nine, come on, silver. Garnet's fatigue. Are you kidding me? Welp. Rip. I'm gonna die. I've really wanted class 35. Really bad. But the game's not gonna give me after Sarah's luck. Alright. The boss is Flan Medley. The Flan Medley uses color change to change its elemental weakness and resistance, as well as the element of its attacks based its, on its resistance. Starts out weak to water and resistant to fire, becomes weak to thunder and resistant, resistant to water. After its first color change, uses Split to summon small Flan Medleys. Defeating the small Flan Medleys causes... Cause the large flam medley to use generate body to re greatly raise a well, excuse me to greatly raise raises the flam medley's brave damage resistance. The effect for a generate body can be cancelled by inflicting a break. Try using group targeting brave attacks to crush the small flam medleys while exploiting the large flam medley's elemental weakness. Score only goes up to a million six hundred thousand, and as you know, the characters are Garnet Clownzell. Anyways, let's hop over to the database to discuss her more. Bam! All right, we are on the database. Her crystal type is is wind slash green. Her weapon type, as you know, is a staff. She is from Bomb Fantasy Night. Her roles are as a magic good attacker, healer, and support. Her initiative brave is max. Her attack speed, her attack and speed are great. Her defense is also perfect. Uh, her max brave and her HP are bad. 
Well. Yeah, bad. Alright, her command abilities. Now, this is a bunch of jibber jabbers. So follow me carefully, guys. I'm gonna turn it sideways. Okay. Now listen to me carefully. I will try to speak clearly for you guys. <coughs> water elemental one hit break plus HP attack. This is Aquamarine's Radiant Water. Grants Water Dragon for two turns and removes Thunder Emperor. Water Dragon raises water elemental damage by 20% and turns Brave Attack to Tidal Wave. If Strength 55 passive is equipped, the ability becomes two hit and an AoE Water Dragon will then also turn HP to Dragon Wave. That's for 60. Hang on a second. Okay, Tidal Wave. One hit AoE Brave Attack. Conditions while well, Water Dragon is activated. Okay, and the Dragon Wave is for her uh, Crystal Level 55. So we'll talk about that when it gets there. So, Paradox Radiant Thunder. Now follow me closely because then again, it is a bunch of big info. <clears throat> One hit. No, Light. Electric type one hit brave plus HP attack. Well, it's only HP if they it's a uh, I think it's only HP if it's uh, Equipped Anyways grants Thunder Emperor for two turns and removes water drag Thunder Emperor raises thunder elemental damage by 20% and turns brave attacks to judgment bolt and if you have the 60 passive is equipped is becoming two hit and AoE and the Thunder Emperor will turn to an HP attack Okay. Judgment Bolt. One hit AoE. Brave Attack. Condition? Well, Thunder Emperor is active. So she is very, very good for this boss. Now. You guys caught that, right? Okay. Passive Abilities. <sighs> you already know all this. Her, her, uh. Crystal Strength 50, a princess's resolve, slightly raises initial brave max brave attack and defense if HP is maxed when the final battle starts. Very good. Okay, her gear. Her 35 CP weapon increases the potency of Paradox Radiant Thunder. Inflicts Thunder Resistance down for four, for four turns. Grants Small Max Brave up for four turns and extends Thunder Emperor's duration to four turns. Increases the potency of Aquamarine's Radiant Water. Inflicts Water Resistance down for four turns. Grants Brave Regan to all party members for four turns and extends Water Dragon's duration for four turns. Her gold armor, Maiden's Madden Sari's bracelet, initial brave plus 110 and defense plus 84. Her artifact passives. Uh, excuse me. Break brave up at one star, raising max brave for two by two percent for one turn after breaking an enemy, and two stars by five percent. A princess's resolve boost. At one star, increase the effects of Princess's Resolve by 2% at 2 star by 5%. Sorry for talking too fast, trying to get through this really fast. Mighty Aquamarine. Mighty Aquamarine's Radiant Water. Mouthful. One star, raises brave damage dealt by Aquamarine's Radiant Water by 5%. At 2 stars by 10%. Mighty Paradox Radiant Thunder. At one star, raises brave damage dealt by Paradox Radiant Thunder by 5%. At 2 star, it's by 10%. Gonna hop back all over to the game. See you there. We are back on Dissidia. Now, thank you everybody for watching. I will be doing one more pull for this banner. But that will be off camera, so I will tell you in the next video what I get. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button if, and subscribe if you're new here. Don't forget to comment down below what you thought. And see you in the next video. See ya.